Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fulfill an order with DSs. Now the whole point of the DSs app is to automate the ordering process from AliExpress. You don't want to manually go in and input every customer's details into AliExpress every time they purchase. So you want to use the DSs app to automate this. So here we are on the order page. As you can see, we have an order for the boxing reflex ball. So we want to go ahead and order this right now on DSs. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the DSs Chrome extension installed. You can install this from the DSs app or the Chrome app store. So once you've done that, go here and click open in DSs. Now, as you can see, we're here on the DSs app. We have an open order right now and we can go ahead and place the order through here. Now, as for shipping method, make sure you always use AliExpress standard shipping or selection shipping. The shipping cost for this item is $2.42 and the estimated delivery time to the UK is 21 days. Now, in my experience, AliExpress standard shipping takes between two to four weeks to most Western countries. So you can use that in the beginning and always make sure you have tracking information enabled. So once you've done that, click OK and then click order. And then on this page, you can check the shipping information. When you have a lot of orders, you can go through here and make sure the shipping settings are set up properly. And then go ahead and click confirm. And DSS is now placing the order on AliExpress. Once this is done, we have to go to AliExpress and put our payment information in and place the order. So as you can see, the order has now been placed on AliExpress. The final thing we need to do is go ahead and make the payment so the order gets processed. So go here and click make payment and then click make payment. So then here we are on AliExpress and all you have to do now is just click pay now, put in your card details in and the order will be paid for. And then once the order has been shipped by AliExpress, the tracking number will update in the S's and the order will be fulfilled in Shopify. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up track one, two, three for your store. Now, the reason I want you to set up this app instead of using the order lookup code is because of a new update. If you put an AliExpress tracking number into 17 track, it will show the AliExpress name and you don't want your customers to see that, which is why I recommend getting the track one, two, three app. So to do that, go to apps and go to recommended apps and then go below to the Shopify app store. And in here, you want to write track one, two, three. And this is the app you want. Go here and click add app and then make sure you install the app. So here we are on the app. The first thing you want to do is click no thanks to the do you need help. And I'm going to show you how to set up the, the tracking app on your store. The first thing you want to do is go below and click contact support to remove the track one to three branding from your store. You don't want to have this on your store as it does not look professional. So go here and message them. They should reply within one to two days and they'll remove that branding. So next you want to go here and copy the tracking link. They've made a tracking page. So you want to go ahead and copy the link. Go to your online store. Go to navigation. And earlier we made an order lookup menu. So go here, click edit, remove the old link and put the new link in. Click the page and click apply changes. So now when somebody clicks order lookup, it will go directly to the app. So here we are back on the app. I want you to go to the settings section and get this configured before launching. So firstly, I like turning on send shipping tracking events to Shopify and then also turn on track URL. So when customers receive the tracking number, it will link them directly to this app. And then go below and make sure you turn on dropshipping mode. When you turn on dropshipping mode, it will hide any reference to AliExpress and China. So you wanna make sure that's enabled. If you wanna learn more about it, go here and click what is dropshipping mode. And in here, as you can see, they, they add in all of the dropshipping carriers. They, they map the map coordinate to show the destination address instead of China. They remove keywords such as China and AliExpress um, and many more options. So I definitely recommend turning on dropshipping mode and then go below. All of these carriers should be automatically turned on after you turn on dropshipping mode. And that's all you have to do for the settings. Next, you want to go to the page editor. In the page editor, you can edit how the tracking page looks so it can fit your brand. So I usually leave the default style. I leave the date, the translation, the URL, the recommendations, and I like putting an estimated delivery time. So turn that on. And I like putting an estimated delivery time of between 15 to 30 days. This will help reduce your customer service inquiries and will keep customers up to date regarding how long it takes to receive their package. And then when you go below, it blacklists China and AliExpress. Anytime China and AliExpress is mentioned, instead, the message gets replaced with in transit to the next facility. So this could help with, with hiding your dropshipping, right? 
and then go below and you can edit the lookup options. So I usually like doing it by tracking number only. So when customers receive their tracking number from, from Shopify, they can, they can input their tracking number into here to see where their package is. For map coordinates, I like doing destination address and I like leaving everything else here the way it is. And once that's done, all you have to do is click save. Then you can go above and go here and click view your tracking page. So this is what customers will see after they've put in their tracking number. And in here, customers will put their tracking number and it will tell them the status of their package, when it was ordered, when it was in transit, delivered. It will give you shipping details, the package information, and you know what, what their order contains. So this is a great app to have. I highly recommend using it. If you're using the original tracking code, make sure you delete that from your site as it will cause issues with your customers.